Welcome back to the Ark Survival Guide, and welcome to the first episode of our new Let's Play Ark Genesis Part 1 in 4K series. That's right, we are coming to you on PS5 in 4K HDR, and we're going to show you Ark Genesis like you've never seen it before. This game is absolutely stunning, and even though we did a few episodes of Let's Play Ark Genesis Part 1 in our old series, I was most focusing on showing you the safest, easiest way to live in Ark Genesis, so you could have a very easy time playing because so many people were saying it's so stinking hard. Well, in this series, we're pulling off the training wheels, pulling out all the stops, and we're just going to go have some fun. So, if you like watching me die, this is going to be a great series for you, and in the first episode, we're going to see if we can build up a base in the bog and try to tame some stuff and see how that goes so this should be a very fun episode if you like it please give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to our channel and ring that bell for all notifications and that'll make sure you don't miss our next episode and also drop a comment let us know what you think of this episode and this series because if a lot of people really like this series we'll keep going with it and if not we might focus on some other stuff so we really value your comments especially in this first episode and also also, let me know how the audio is coming through because we're still working on that, still making some tweaks, and it would be super helpful if you guys could give us some feedback. So I hope you all really enjoy this, and let's get started. Hello, I'm Amy Chilene, a fractal personality designed to be your guide. Just listen to me and you won't get yourself killed. Probably. I'm new at this too. Any landing you get away from is a good one, eh? Welcome to the Genesis Simulation. Here you'll be tested across five biomes, each with its own dangers and rewards. I'll be with you every step of the way. Interact with me when you want to teleport from one biome to another, or when you want to spend some of the hexagons you'll earn for complete missions. Those missions are how the simulation tests you, how you prove you're the ultimate survivor. First though, we have some exploring ahead of us. Ready to go and walk about? Oh, I was born ready, Helena. I mean, actually, I was born like three seconds ago, but we'll get to that later. Okay, so first thing we need to do is get away from the swamp because there's all kinds of nasty stuff that lives down there. So I'll try to get a better view up on this. Whoa, not cool, not cool. Okay, um, I, I think I'm dead. Yeah, okay, that was fun. Thanks, Helena. Thanks for putting me right next to the crocodiles. Okay, let's try this again. We're gonna respawn random location. And uh, there you go, we've already died more than uh, we usually die in several episodes. So, okay, so That's first thing we're gonna do, get away from the water because the water is where the most nasty stuff in the bog lives. And if we can get to the high ground, that'll get us even safer. And what? Oh, got cool. Okay, come on, is this the same crocodile? Really? Oh, okay, yep. Level 5 Capro killed me twice in a row. All right, let's go for a third time. Third time's the charm, right? Now, Helena, can you please put me not into the mouth of a crocodile? I seriously think not Helena's trying to kill me. Okay, now. so I'm alive for a second. I don't see that croc. Oh, wait, nope, there it is, right there. She tried to kill me again. All right, joke's on you, Helena. We're getting out of here. And we're being targeted by the swarm already because that's just how the bog is. Hashtag bog life, not very fun. But I tell you what, it really gets you in shape. Okay, so we're going to try to hide in here. This looks like maybe a cave, and maybe there's nothing deadly waiting for us inside. Hey, mushrooms, all right. Maybe we'll try to eat one of those later. Wow, this is really cool looking. Oh, man, okay. I could get used to this. This could be a cool place to uh, make a little house if we can find, like, nothing deadly on the other side here. So uh, it looks like we can actually stop for a second and get some food in our hot bar because I tell you what, I get snacky while running for my life, right? And uh, we're probably going to need to put some stuff in our hot bar. Just making sure I can actually eat those, though, because uh, I'm not sure what mushrooms are edible. I actually skipped aberration. So part of the fun of what we're doing here is kind of going, oh, nope, there's a gator. Okay, see you later, alligator. I'm going to try to get out of here before he sees us because uh, apparently there's deadly stuff. Whoop, okay, nope, he definitely saw us. All right, run Running away again. Bog is full of surprise crocs and gators and stuff. So, 
Alright, we'll see if the swarm comes back and tries to kill us over here. And maybe we'll try this little block. Maybe there's nothing deadly on this block. Just kind of like what Bob Ross says, you know. Maybe in your world there's a deadly little raptor that wants to eat you. Alright, maybe... Okay, I don't see anything deadly right here. Except ants. There's deadly ants there. And a Deodon just across the swamp. Alright, can I climb this? No. Okay. We seem to be stuck in between deadly stuff, but that's actually perfect because it seems like we're staying alive. Come back here, Helena. Come back. Okay, I really need you to focus. There we go. Okay. Biome teleportation. And no, we do not want to go to that biome. Okay, I tell you, Helena is trying to kill us. All right, we're going to try to go into the bog southwest. And if we can stay alive for just a second, nothing deadly pops up, we can actually teleport to a place that should be a little bit safer. Now, if I was being really smart, I would have spawned in the ocean biome, where it's always totally safe when you spawn. Every time you die, respawn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that's just that's just a pattern. Nothing dangerous here. Uh, and if it's calm, that means nothing deadly is trying to eat us. Great. Okay. So, I think we can actually... Never mind. There we go. We're teleporting. All right. We'll see if we're going to die as soon as we teleport. Okay. Okay. More... Whoa. Nope. Something is actually eating us the second we put our feet on the ground. Helena, come on. This this robot is trying to kill me. I tell ya. She is just really hot it out for me. All right. All right. You had your prank, Helena. I'm getting out of here. Okay, so I am totally unarmed, um, I'm just about exhausted, but I think maybe, let's see, is this gonna work? Yes, it's over, Helena, I have the high ground. That means I should be high enough up from everything else that I can actually do some stuff, so yes, alright, we are alive, we are making a pickaxe, and we're gonna boost some, uh, probably movement speed at this point. I needed to boost some stamina so we can run further. Yeah, we'll just do some stamina. That'll help us chop down trees. Okay, so, next thing on our to-do list. We are not being chased. That's step one. Step two, get the high ground and get off the bog. Alright, and step three in the bog is we need to make a torch, because... Any second now, the swarm's gonna find us and come try to eat us. And if we don't have at least one torch, preferably two torches, we can't burn the little bugs. I mean, it's basically like living in Florida. Like, every few minutes, you're gonna get targeted by the swarm and giant mosquitoes will come attack you. And great, we got a pack of raptors right over there. So, I am never leaving this rock again. I'm just gonna stay here forever and end of story. No, just kidding. Uh, okay, so that packy's running from something. I don't see it, which means it's probably ants, and that's okay. I can handle ants. So we're gonna try to get some flint from this rock because uh, actually the most dangerous thing is probably that swarm, which will be here any second. So we're gonna get some flint, which we need to make our torches, and all right, trying to get a feel for where our rocks are. And it's really helpful when you're playing Ark to figure out an escape plan, especially if you're gonna be hanging around an area. So I'm learning the terrain, learning how to run quickly back up onto the high ground and get out of reach of any raptors, which are probably just right over that that hill. Yep, there they are. Whoa, okay. That kind of freaked me out for a second. That is a bunny oviraptor. He's not only just an oviraptor, which is totally harmless, but he's got bunny ears because it's the Easter event, and that's extra harmless. He's going to drop delicious bunny candy. I mean, uh, what is it? Festive dino candy for the Easter event. So, I'm not going to let him tempt me with his delicious candy, though, because there are definitely still three raptors right over there. Okay, so we leveled up again from crafting some stuff, and now we are finally high enough level to uh, get some more movement speed. And we seem to be alive. It's been a good, like, five minutes, and we haven't died yet, so that's actually extremely good for the bog. So the next thing we really need to focus on is getting our tools, and now we can use those to actually get some spears. So uh, we can get a little bit of defense. They're not that great against raptors. You really need bolas to protect yourself from raptors. Like, if you uh, have a spear, a couple raptors are probably going to kill you while you're fighting the first one. But another great thing we can do is make a storage box and put some of our stuff, like backup tools, in that storage box. So even if we die, we can run back over here and get some tools and we won't have to go all over the place to get the materials. So here we go, we got a storage box. And we're just gonna put that, oh nice, so we're actually right on the edge of the mission area. And 
It let me do that. Nice. Okay. So uh, we've got just about completely vanilla settings right now, but uh, I did actually make it so I can clip stuff into the terrain, and that's letting me put that little storage box kind of up in the air like that, which is really nice because I might be able to use that as stairs to get up onto the higher platform. And that's actually exactly what I want because then I can build a house up there all right, raptors are still chilling. They are a little bit further away, so we're probably going to be okay. But I still feel a lot safer down here. You see that uh, Packy? It's kind of like a Triceratops with not enough horns. And uh, as long as he is calm, that means nothing really dangerous is out here. Probably still some of those killer ants. You know, they'll still mess me up. But nothing that will just absolutely one-shot chomp me. So I need to get as much flint as I can, because we need to make a bunch of spears so I can actually do some hunting, because uh, I'm already halfway starved. We can get some berries from here, but they're not going to go very far. So uh, let me get some thatch, and I think that's probably, maybe grab a little bit of wood, and we can hopefully make quite a few spears this way. And that'll give us something so we can go hunting in a second. And I'm going to see if I can get up this way, because this would be great if I could use this as an escape path, but it looks like I can't quite jump high enough. Maybe if I put a storage box over there, I can use that as stairs if something's chasing me. But uh, at least for now, we can get a pretty safe spot up here, and I'm eventually going to try to get up to the top plateau, build a house up there where it's really extra safe. Alright, so now that I've got some stamina, I'm going to give some movement speed so I can sprint for a long time and sprint fast. And ho oh, ho, here we go. Okay, so now we can get a campfire and a slingshot. And the slingshot is so helpful. If I can get enough hide for this thing, I am going to be able to pelt rocks down on top of things from up here where I'm totally safe. And that'll help me tame stuff, that'll help me kill stuff if it's chasing me. Definitely want to get that slingshot as soon as possible. I also want some bolas so I can destroy that overraptor that keeps freaking me out. Okay, that was a little too far to jump. Alright, so now we're going to try hunting and see if we can get some hide, because we need hide for a lot of stuff, including the slingshot. And, okay, cool, I don't see any crocs, any surprise crocodiles over here. And uh, let's get some food in my hot bar because I am getting hungry. So if we look at our food bar on the far right, we're down to about a third of our food. And these berries are barely good enough for keeping us alive, but they don't get you much food back. So our next priority is getting some hide and some meat, which we can only do by killing stuff. And, oh, hello, giant ants. This must be what was trying to eat me when Helena first dropped me over on this spot. So, uh, yeah, once again, just like living in Florida, giant ants and uh, wasps trying to eat you all the time. So usually these spawn in groups of like three or four. Usually one of them is flying, so keep an eye out for that. Sometimes there's two flyers, and oh, here we go. This was number four. And whoa, check out the color. He looked like some radioactive ant. I wonder if it bit me if I'd get like superpowers and become, I don't know, Ant-Man or something. I don't know, that sounds so dumb. That, that couldn't possibly be a superhero. Okay, just kidding. Don't hate me in the comments. So, uh, uh, yeah, we've got some chitin, which isn't quite what I had in mind, but at least we got some meat from those ants, and we'll see if we can find something that'll give us some hide. I'm really hoping we can find a dilophosaur, or maybe even some dodos. I know dodos exist in the bog, but I'm not seeing anything other than, like, super deadly stuff. So... Okay, here comes the pig. He is running our way. Let's see if we can stab him a little bit. Now, he's probably getting chased by something, but I don't see anything real deadly nearby. And, uh, okay, now we're getting chased by an ant. And here it comes. All right, get some more meat and chitin, as long as he doesn't bite me too many times. Because it tell you what, those things poison you a couple of times, and you can just pass straight out, and then you're just dead. You go unconscious in the bog, you are toast. Oh, nope, 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 there's a raptor. Raptors are, oh gosh, I stepped on an ant and it bit me. Not cool, not cool at all. Okay, I am getting out of here as fast as possible. Gotta get the high ground. That's the only way to avoid raptor attacks right now. So don't fail me now, movement speed and oh gosh i wish i had more stamina right now okay okay i think i think we're all safe i think we're alive we just got to get back up to the high ground and uh whew, all right we're gonna stay off the bog for a little bit but we do have some meat to cook now so now if we can actually cook that meat we are going to be in good shape and we'll stop starving to death right away so we'll go ahead and unlock the campfire and 
Let me see what materials I need. I might need to gather a couple more things for this. Yeah, we'll try to grab a couple things right around here, but uh, thankfully the raptors are still relatively far off, and we are back. All right, so we've got all the stuff we need for a campfire. We just crafted that, and here we go. We'll go ahead and put that down and start barbecuing some ants. Yeah, roast ant. Nothing quite like it. Okay, that's something we do not do in Florida. That is just something you do to survive in the bog. All right, so we put some meat in the campfire. We're going to drop some wood on there, even though I kind of hate to burn all the wood. And now we are roasting ants. Good stuff. Wonder what they're gonna taste like. I don't know. Kind of feel like they taste like crab. So we have been gathering a bunch more materials, and I'm just gonna skip the parts where I'm gathering stuff so you don't get bored. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me gathering things, or if you prefer I just like you know skip over those parts. But check it out. So with two storage boxes, I've been able to get up onto the top tier, and I am almost out of the mission area let's see here okay great so i can actually find spots up here where i'm totally out of the mission area and i can actually build which is awesome and i have food so i'm not completely dying of starvation and as you can see here it was just in time because i was just about to start dying and you don't really want to run around grabbing salad with raptors around because uh you know while you're getting stuff to eat stuff is going to get you to eat so yeah I don't know, that didn't come out quite as cool as I thought. All right, so we've got working stairs to get to the very top platform, and our next mission is to make a bed. If we can get a bed, we can respawn right up on top of that house, and uh, I'm going to explore a little more, see if I can find something to kill that'll actually give me some hide. Oh, by the way, these really tall purple plants that have kind of like a little pink thing on top, those give you narco berries, like a lot of narco berries. Oh, check this out. Okay, where is this going to go? This is actually really cool. I might be able to get a very good view and see if I can spot something I can actually hunt. Hopefully something that's not already getting hunted by something else, because that totally puts a damper on everything. All right, let's see. Is there anything even up here? Oh, okay. Check it out. Do you see that little purplish pink beam? That is the top of a glitch, and if we can get down to the bottom there, we can fix the glitch and get a ton of hexagons. Well, once I get a bed, I am definitely coming back here and trying to get to that glitch, because that will be so helpful. It gives you, like, I think a thousand hexagons, and then we can buy stuff in Helena's store. We also get some hexagons just by saying good morning. Oh, there's a berry, okay. So if we survive the night and get through one single day, Helena will give us 300 hexagons just for saying hi. Ooh, what level are you? You know, having a stego would be super helpful if we could keep it alive. It's also a huge liability, and oh, oh, okay, here we go, this is perfect. You remember those raptors that we were, like, so freaked out by? Well, check it out, looks like the stegos made quick work of them. Nice, all three raptors accounted for. That's what I like to see. Okay, so if you can account for one or two raptors, you still might get killed by the third one, because they always spawn in groups of three. Sometimes they get killed before you see them, but if you can see all three raptors are dead, that means we can breathe a sigh of relief, and uh, it looks like this whole little area is up on a plateau, so we might actually be pretty safe to gather stuff, so I'm going to do that for a bit. So we are back, I gathered a bunch of materials, and check it out, we finally unlocked the bed. And that is actually a much bigger deal than it sounds like. And thanks to those wonderful raptors donating their skins, we have enough to make a bed. So check it out. This is actually a huge accomplishment. Like, I have seen professional streamers take hours just to get to this point in the bog because it's that crazy. So let's see if we can drop this. I can't remember if you can put this right on the ground. Okay, requires a floor. Yep, it's been a while since I've actually tried to do that but uh, I guess we're going to have to build a house. So we're back. We've gathered a bunch more materials, and we unlocked thatch, you know, all the structures for thatch. So we're putting down a foundation right now, and we're going to try to get up here. Why is this being tricky? I can't wait. Oh, yeah, I can't jump because I'm crafting stuff still. That is actually something to keep in mind when you're out in the field. 
You don't want to craft anything because you can't run fast and you can't jump. And now I'm too heavy to jump because I weigh too much because I'm carrying half a house on my back. Yeah, I haven't put any stats into weight, so I am super weak and out of shape. By the way, I started at level 1. Most Let's Plays for Genesis that I see, they start at like a level 100, 120 or something. I want to show you guys how to do this from the ground up and make it relatively safe and easy, at least as much as you can. Now, if I wanted to show you the really easy way to do Arc Genesis, uh, I would show you what I did in the first Let's Play that I did when I was doing this on, uh, you know, when Genesis first came out. And I showed you guys how to just spawn in the ocean, how to survive really well in the ocean biome and uh you know make it like to level 50 or 60 before you really have to put yourself in very much danger but i thought it would be a little more fun if i started in the bog but we will actually go check out all of the biomes and i'll show you the ocean biome probably before this episode's over just so you guys can see it we'll try out all the biomes in this let's play and uh i don't know maybe in the first episodes we'll check out a biome each episode or something like that let me know in the comments what you guys think and by the way let me know in the comments uh how the audio is sounding i'm still fine tuning my audio setup but you should hopefully at least be able to hear me out of both ears now uh, my first video recorded on the PS5, I was only coming out through one ear, and uh, hopefully I've got that problem fixed. And hopefully you can actually hear me this time, because I've been working on the audio settings a lot, and it should be much better. Okay, so now we have almost all of our walls, and once that one finishes, we can start on the ceilings. And okay, I miscalculated, I thought I had enough to make that last ceiling, but not quite. So we'll gather some stuff in a minute. But we almost have shelter, and that's actually super helpful because you can hide in here when the swarm comes, and we might not have to use a torch every time just to survive. So, I know we have just a little lame thatch hut, and usually even a small pack of raptors will just chew right through that, but because we are so high up and, uh, you know, we have to use our stairs to get up here, we should actually be pretty safe. So I'm actually really excited to have that, uh, you know, bed up there because now instead of respawning at a random location right into a crocodile's mouth several times in a row, thanks again, Helena, I will never forget what you did to me. But uh, now we can just respawn here in this bed and, you know, start from our nice, safe, cozy little plateau that we can call home. So, never really expected the bog to feel safe, but it actually feels relatively safe up here. Now if we can just put a nice wall to uh, kind of wall off the entrance, we'll be in great shape. So we had enough hide left over to actually make a slingshot, and uh, we've got that going in our hot bar now. Woo! So I'm really excited about that because that means we can uh, not only kill stuff from up on top of our ledge, which can keep us totally safe and totally immune to anything attacking us, but we can actually try to tame that stego. So I have crafted some stuff. Now we have a slingshot. I'm going to grab some stone for it, which is actually what you use for the ammo. Another great thing about a slingshot is uh, all you need for ammo is stone. And where is that Stego? Okay, he's still over there. That's great. We'll grab some Narco Berries, and uh, I could probably make a Mortar and Pestle at this point, but we'll see if I can even knock out the Stego. So I think that's what we're going to try to do next. If this guy's a decent level, I forgot to check that out. So let's see how he's looking. Level four. Yes. Okay. That is perfect. We are totally going to try to do this. All right. So I've got a slingshot. I've got some rocks for ammo. But if I'm going to take down a stego with a slingshot, I'm going to need at least two slingshots because I'm pretty sure the first one will break in the middle of fighting that stego if I try to do that. So we'll gather some more materials, just checking to make sure no raptors are eating him. And he seems like he's pretty good. Stegos can actually fend for themselves, and they can tear you up. So we'll grab some more materials and uh, check it out. We actually leveled up again, and we're able to unlock the club. 
and that's going to be extremely helpful. A club is actually one of my favorite weapons because you can beat stuff senseless with it, which is the best way to make friends in Ark. So we're going to uh, have a couple of slingshots in our hot bar to be able to use those to knock out the Stego. We can use the ledge to get up high so he can't hit us, and then we can actually uh, chase him down when he starts running away with the clubs, which should knock him out way faster. So now we just need to... What? What? Oh, no. That is that is not cool. Okay. Um, Stego's gone, and there's a Carno, and I'm pretty sure he ate my Stego. This bog hates me today. Okay. Um, I'm just going to check and see if I can get a spot up here. Oh, by the way, metal. That's nice. And a Bronto. Great. Um, yeah, so I was going to see if I can find a spot where I can pelt that Carno from up here and get him to run away, but I don't think I can hit him with a slingshot, which means it's no longer safe out here. Uh, I can't really get off my plateau without that Carno eating me. So, we are going to go to plan B, and we are going to check out another section of the bog. So when I played Arc Genesis before, I went to the southeast section of the bog biome, and I actually loved it because there's a really cool little plateau you can live on. It's actually pretty common for moss chops to uh, spawn up there, and that would be an absolute game changer if we can find one. The odds are not great, but they are all over the bog. It's just finding one that's not dead yet is actually extremely hard because everything loves to jump on moss chops. So uh, we're going to teleport to the southeast zone and see if we can get safely up onto that plateau because we're just not going to make any progress with that Carno over here. We'll see if something kills him or if he wanders off, but if we're out here, he'll have something fun to do and he will definitely stay. So, okay, got to get off the bog as fast as possible. Helena loves to drop me on top of Crocs on this section. So, okay, let's just run as fast as we can. All right, there's a Baryonyx, of course. There's always a berry right next to where this goes. Uh, okay, and something else is chasing that Parasaur, so we're going to get off the bog as fast as possible. Usually there's something dangerous up here too, but the good news is it's on a plateau, so we can get it to chase us off, and then we can run around and get up on top of here. So I have no weapons, I dropped all my stuff off before I came up here, because the odds of dying are super high, but now I need to get something to protect me against the swarm. So I need to get a torch as fast as possible, because... Any minute now, the swarm will start targeting me, and if I don't have a torch, I am toast. All right, so I got a hatchet, or a pickaxe, I mean, and we'll get some flint so I can make a torch. And once we get that torch, we should be okay. All right, so now we can at least hopefully survive a couple minutes, and oh my gosh, no way. Is that? Yes. And it's a low level, too. And it wants a rare flower. Yes, I think I can buy those from Helena. Okay, going to check around real quick, make sure there's nothing else deadly up here. And it's turtles. I can't believe it's turtles. There's always something awful Welcome up here. Okay, so we're going to open up Helena's store. And yes, we can afford the rare flowers too. Nice. We only get five of them, but we only need one to actually feed that moss chops. And then she'll decide something else random that she wants to eat. It's totally random. Sometimes it's prime meat and there's no way we can get that right now. At least not right now. And so, whoa, nice. It tamed her all the way with just one. That is awesome. Okay. I was expecting to have to spend some more hexagons with Helena. Okay, we are going to teleport out of here right away. We're not going to take any risks, so we are going to go straight to the ocean biome. Now, almost every single spot you can go in the ocean biome is totally safe. It puts you up on really high pillars with nothing really that dangerous on them, and we should be in great shape if we can get this moss chops. So, hopefully... For the next 30 seconds, nothing comes and kills us. If the swarm shows up, it's going to be a problem. If, uh, you know, raptors pop out of nowhere, they always do. I think they hide behind trees and just wait until you get here. And, oh man, I think, I think we're going to make it. Are we going to? Okay, I think we're safe. We are heading to the ocean biome, and we have a moss chops. I cannot believe we pulled off. No, don't be stuck. Oh gosh, get out of there. Get out of there quick. Well, okay. Whew, I thought our moss chops was going to sink into the ground and be gone forever. All right, you know, I wonder if I could actually chomp this fast enough to kill it. 
Is that gonna work? No. Okay. So, uh, the wonderful and awful thing about a Moss Chops is look how much stuff I got in like two seconds. It's crazy. So, I'm gonna grab all this fiber for myself and just dump all the berries because it can pick up so many berries so fast, it gets overweight and can't move. But check this out. This is actually really amazing. So I'm going to unlock pants, shirt, and hats. And I don't usually even wear hats. I actually very rarely even make myself shoes. So I'll be running around in the snow in bare feet just because I don't want to waste the engram points. But now that I can actually get some clothes, that's another nice thing to do. Just have some, you know, human decency. Actually, the clothes will keep us from overheating and help us to keep water for much longer. And that'll be very helpful because, uh, you know, up here you don't really have a good chance to get water. We're in the ocean biome. And the ocean biome is uh, actually super safe. And we have metal. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I actually hadn't realized there was any uh, easy access metal right next to one of the spawn zones. So, southwest zone of the ocean has a couple of metal nodes. I will keep that in mind for next time. I could grab some now, but the hardest thing to do right now is going to be managing my weight. I have very low weight stats, and I'm picking up stupid amounts of stuff here. Alright, hold still, Helena. We are teleporting out of here. So, I uh, was trying out the southwest zone. I think it it might actually be the south or southeast, but there's one island that's right next to the ocean. And if we can get there, and okay, we teleported, and this is definitely not it either. We got all these big salt pillars, which are actually a source of rocks if you need stone. But we're going to try again, and we're going to teleport to the southeast zone and try that one. So hopefully that's the really tall, big one, and we're going to find out if that's it. But there's actually a lot of stuff to hunt on one of these. Yeah, I think this is it. Okay, okay. This is the southeast Perfect. Yep. All right. Oh, wow. Look at that Archaeopteryx. It looks so cool. Okay, we're definitely going to have to tame that thing. It's like it's like emerald green. So cool looking. Oh, oh yeah, there's an... Oh, that's, that's, the, that's the same one. Okay. Now, there's a lot of stuff over here. Yeah, okay. So we got these seabirds, the uh, Pelagornis, and those are actually great to eat if you can make a bowl of. And I think I might have enough stuff for that. But once again, overweight, can't move, got too much stuff in our hands. So, uh, yeah, that's the trouble with the moss chops up here. There are so many plants all around that you use one swipe and you've got several thousand berries and other stuff that's super heavy. So I'm going to actually try to make a bola and see if I can knock out one of those seabirds and get some hide. Because hide is actually pretty hard to come by right now. The bog stuff is just way too dangerous to kill. And in the ocean, there's kind of a shortage of stuff that's uh, got a decent amount of hide and meat. But we are going to try to take down one of those birds when it comes down close enough, and we should be in good shape if we can do that. I'm moving super slow because I am making non-stop hats. I am a one-man hat factory, and the reason I'm doing that is because if you look at my experience bar, it just keeps going up non-stop. And we are eventually going to be able to make so many hats that we can basically hit level 16 just from crafting hats, and we'll be able to make a raft. And in the next episode, I want to take a raft, put it in the ocean, and go down to uh, a really cool mission that we can do right away, where we're going to be riding manta rays like a jet ski, underwater, jumping out of the water, all kinds of cool stuff. And I'm definitely going to try to tame that emerald green Archaeopteryx so we can do some hang gliding too, which is super helpful. And we'll go back to the bog real soon. I just want to do some stuff in the ocean and show that to you guys a little bit because it's so cool. So make sure you tune in next time for the next episode of our Arc Genesis in 4K series. And let me know in the comments if you guys like this series, if you want me to keep doing it, if you'd prefer to see some more of our Crystal Isles series before Arc Genesis Part 2 comes out. And let me know how the video and audio quality is because this is our first 4K Let's Play video. I'm still tweaking everything, still fine-tuning all of it. And your feedback is actually super helpful. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please 
give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell to enable all notifications because we will have lots more awesome videos coming out really soon. And if you don't have all notifications enabled, it probably won't tell you when that actually comes out. So until next time, I hope you all stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media so your friends can enjoy it too. And make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to enable all notifications because we have lots of awesome new guides, tips, tricks, live streams, and let's plays for ARK and other awesome games coming soon and you won't want to miss any of that. We already have lots more fun and helpful videos just like this one, so check out the links at the end of this video to keep watching. You can also chat with other gamers if you join our channel's Discord at the link in the description. If you want to earn great rewards while supporting this channel, click the join link next to the subscribe button for more information about our channel memberships. We want to give a big thank you to some of our biggest supporters of this channel, Sabo0283, Cole Parmenter, Emmy Fisher, Wolf Girl Be Like, Kelly Razjak, and Ashley Owens. Thank you all so much for everything you do to make this channel possible. So until next time, we hope you have fun on your own video game adventures, and we, we will, will see you, you at our, our next video. video.